Okay, this short video sees me practicing some basic techniques in curve sketching and in particular I'm going to look at the cubic curves in this particular batch of sketches. Okay, I've put four very straightforward cubic curves I'm going to sketch on the board ready. Uh, let's have a look at the first one. Y equals x cubed plus 7. Um, so I'm going to very quickly just do a little cross wire like so, y and x axis and I need to sketch y equals x cubed plus 7. Well, looking at that, I can immediately see it's an x cubed curve, which basically means, remember, the basic x cubed curve looks something like that, and it's located where that point there is smack on the centre of the cross wire, if you remember from a previous video. Um, so based on knowing that is the basic shape of an x cubed curve, we now just see that we have a plus 7 on the end. If you remember our control experiments, the plus 7 simply shifts that x cubed curve up 7 places. So I'm going to mark on plus 7 on the y axis and simply draw in my x cubed curve in that position. And that's y equals x cubed plus 7. The x cubed curve has just moved up 7 places. Okay, question number two, slightly different. I see once again it's x cubed there, um, but what I've got in front of this, this time, is the number 10. Remember the control experiment? The number in front controls how steep it is, so you get 10 in front of it, it's going to make it a very steep x cubed curve. Minus 3 on the end is going to tell you it's going to be shifted down three places. So if I do a very quick sketch of this, y and x axis, Shifting it down three places, I will mark minus three on the y-axis down there. And then the x cubed, steep, is going to be shifted into that new position. So a steep x cubed curve, like so, shifted down three places. Okay, this one here, what we've got here is x inside a bracket, but the bracket itself is being cubed. So, once again, it's going to be a cubic graph. Uh, so it's going to look something like that that basic shape. Okay, next. Well, there's no number in front of it, so it's not going to be any steeper or any shallower than the original x cubed curve that we started with. Plus one on the end means it's going to be shifted up two places. Sorry, up one place, plus one, up one place. And then the minus two in the bracket, if you remember our control experiment, that's going to shift it two places horizontally. Remember, if it's minus 2 in the bracket, it doesn't move two places to negative 2 on the x-axis, which you might suspect. It actually goes the other way. It moves two places right. So my sketch is going to become, here we go, a basic x cubed sketch. Move 1 up, so I move up 1 on the y-axis, and minus 2 in the bracket means 2 right to plus 2 on the x-axis. Put a dot where they intersect, and you need to simply draw your basic x cubed curve, something like that, in that position. The last of these four, we've got y equals minus x cubed take away 3. So we've got a cubic graph, but there's a minus in front of it. Well, remember what happens with a minus cubic. Instead of doing this sort of thing, the curve just does the opposite. It's the reflection of that curve in the x-axis. Just like uh, for an x squared graph, we get a u shape, and for the minus x squared graph, you get the reflection. So, x cubed graph, you get the reflection for the minus x cubed graph. We talked about that in a previous video. So, sketching this, what we're going to get is the negative x cubed graph. It's only minus 1, so it's the same steepness as normal, and then it's moved three places down because of the minus 3. So, the sketch will look something like this y and x, minus 3 on the end, move it 3 places down, and you get a negative x cubed graph in that position of normal steepness. And it's as simple as that. So there's four examples there. Let's try another four now, and this time I'm going to make them a little bit more difficult. So, okay, get rid of these. And we're going to have number 5. Here we go. Number 5. I think I'll draw this one a little bit bigger, so if you've had any difficulty seeing because of the, uh, the distance away that the camera is, you'll be able to see this one a bit better. Here we go, it's y equals, and I'm going to do um, 10 lots of x minus 2 in a bracket cubed, 
plus 7. So I'm going to sketch that one there. So I'm going to do a sketch, set up the y and x axis. It's x in a bracket being cubed, so it's a cubic. There's a positive in front of there, a positive in front of it, so it's a positive cubic. So it's going to be that sort of shape. Positive cubic. Okay, it's moved up seven places, so I'll mark plus seven on the y-axis. And inside the bracket we've got a minus two, so that means it's moved two places right. So I'll mark two there. Put a point there. So I need to draw a cubic graph with the important feature of the cubic, which is that place there, being at that point on my picture. Don't forget, there's a ten in front of it, which makes it steep. So I'm going to draw a steep-looking cubic. Perhaps I'll draw it a bit better than that. Let me just demonstrate. Okay. A steep looking cubic looking something like that. And that's what that picture would look like if I did an accurate table of values and plotted it really well, taking great care to get a true picture. That's what it would look like. Okay, number six. Let me get rid of this. Okay, so for number six, once again, I'll draw it quite large so you can see what's going on y equals minus a quarter x uh, plus 3 cubed and we'll have plus 4 on the end. So there's a lot going on in this particular cubic but it's really straightforward. You've got x inside the bracket cubed so it's a cubic but because of the minus there I know it's going to go the other way. The reflection in the x-axis is going to go that way like this. Okay, it's also got a plus 3 there, which means, if you remember, it's going to go 3 left, not 3 right, 3 left. And the plus 4 on the end means it's going to go 4 up. So here is the sketch of that graph. So y and x axis, like so. I've got to move it up 4, so I'll mark 4 on the y axis. I've got 3 in there, plus 3 means 3 left, so I need to indicate negative 3. Put a dot there. And then I need, in that position, to draw a negative x cubed, and now the quarter controls the steepness. It's going to be quite shallow. So I would tend to draw something along this sort of thing like that. It's going to look something like that. And that would get you the marks. The minus 3 and the 4 need to be present if you're going to get full marks from the examiner. One more. Okay, so number 7. How about this one? Number 7. What about y equals, we'll do a negative 5 bracket, and we'll have x, uh, we'll have minus 3 in a bracket cubed, and then we'll have minus a half on the end. Okay, so this is about as hard as it's likely to get, to be honest. Um, we can see x inside the bracket, it's a cubic, but because of the minus, it's going to be a cubic that basically goes that way. Okay, what does the minus 3 tell you inside the bracket? It means go 3 right, not 3 left, as you might think, to minus 3 on the x-axis, but 3 right. Minus half on the end means go down just half a place. Okay, the 5 in front there tells you it's quite steep. So, the sketch, when we come to draw the thing, is going to look like this. Set up the axes, y and x, make sure you keep labelling y and x. We've got a cubic graph moved half down. So anywhere down here you like, just indicate minus a half on the y-axis. You've got minus 3 means 3 right, so anywhere on the x-axis, positive side, put 3. Where those two intersect, put a point. The position of my negative x-cubed graph is going to be there, quite steep. So quite steep, something like that. And that's what the picture would look like for that one. So there you go, we've practiced seven sketches of cubic graphs and that's the end of this video.